right so recently some time back i had gone to italy for uh, attending a very big spiritual retreat and many people have requested me to make some videos on that retreat well it's long time back around end of march well not that long of course but i didn't get time to make those videos and so finally now here it is so today i will speak on an amazing lady from italy who i met there and she was divine in her own way and how it started was and yes before i speak if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe to my channel and my videos and if you want a consultation from me regarding any aspect of your horoscope regarding career or marriage or relationships or health or any area then you could always go down to the description section where you'll find the link to my website to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so what happened was they had uh, some of my uh, senior god brothers had informed me that there was a spiritual retreat somewhere in italy going on and they informed me somewhere in mid of march and i was confused whether i can go there or what to do because i had not registered i didn't book uh, before and there was no place for me there and uh, even though it was march but europe is very cold so if you go there and you don't have a place to sleep then that's a very big problem so then what happened i went and uh, one of my god brothers he said just take the name of god and let's fly <laughs> So then uh, we went there and it was a very long journey and then what happened I went to the reception of that uh, satsang program and then uh, I asked that I don't have registrations here can I still attend this program so then there was another lady who told me that well you can take prasad the food if you uh, just pay this much per day uh, but we are very sorry there is no place to sleep <laughs> and then i was like my god i just have a sleeping bag and nothing is there with me it's like in the cold european you know winter it's still winter that time there even now it's very cold here <laughs> you see that blanket i use that blanket and there's no fan or ac nothing is there it's very cold here in europe always so then this lady told me that uh, everything is booked it's fully packed and then we don't have any place so either you stay in some hotel nearby or we don't know how you will stay and then she told that uh, there is one lady who is the leader of the reception if she agrees then maybe you get place somewhere <laughs> but if she doesn't then we don't know where you stay <laughs> and then i thought that somehow i need to get a place from this lady and then i went and met this amazing lady from the reception and she is also italian and then what happened i just entered and then this lady she was like she was just staring at me you know with her eyes she is almost in her 50s of course and she was going on staring 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 and i was like my god <laughs> why is she staring at me like this <laughs> so i thought that maybe she is going to uh, scold me or she will chastise me or uh, that why don't you book your accommodation before you know next time you do like this you will be punished <laughs> and then i was speculating that maybe this is the reason why she is angry with me and then what happened one of my friend he came and told to this lady that uh, madam uh, we we need a place for this person is one of my friend he doesn't have a place and you know please help him and then this lady was still going on staring at me <laughs> then i was like my god 
<laughs> I don't know why, why she's staring at me. And then suddenly she said, I have seen you somewhere. And then what happened was, uh, in Italy, just two days before, there was another uh, retreat where I had attended. And I thought she had seen me in that uh, retreat. Okay. So then I told her that, uh, yes, 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 uh, I was there yesterday and day before also. So you might have seen me there. And then she said, no, 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 I have seen you somewhere last week. <laughs> and then I'm like, uh, but I stay in Gottingen here in Germany and I don't know if you came there and but why will she come, you know. So I was confused where she has seen me. And then she told me that I had seen one of your videos. You were speaking of Jupiter and you were speaking of Gandanta and something. And then I was like, yes, that was the time Jupiter had entered Gandanta, March and last year. Uh, I mean, this year, of course. So she had seen my video, video or videos in YouTube, I would say. And then she, and then she started smiling. She was like, uh, she was jubilant. She, you know, she got up and then she's like, wow. <laughs> And then what happened was, it's so uh, funny, uh, there was uh, another lady, uh, as I said, before that two days, there was another retreat where I went. And in that retreat, I had announced that I will go to Italy for some uh, spiritual gathering. So what happened was, uh, this lady who is the leader of the reception, she had another friend who, uh, another lady, female, uh, who had subscribed to my channel and they, uh, she used to see my videos. So this lady told her that, oh, you know, he's this astrologer in YouTube. He's, he's telling that he's coming to some spiritual retreat. Maybe he's coming here or where, but why will he come here? And, you know, I mean, he has not said so then we just uh, we just thought that maybe you are you are not coming here you are going to some other place and then i was like no no i was talking of here only <laughs> and then she was very happy and then she said yes 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 uh, we are very happy that you are here have a great festival have a great time have an amazing uh, next three days and then i said it's fine. Thank you for your wishes. But the problem is I don't have place to stay. <laughs> and then when I said I don't have place, you know, her eyes were like, you know, her eyes became very big. And then she was like, <laughs> why did you not book before? And then I was like, no, no, I came in short notice. You know, it was, it, it was not sure if I would come or when or with whom and... Uh, I, I just came, you know, it's like, just go there, just do it. And then she said that we don't have any place. And then I said that I know there's no place, but <laughs> I've been told by somebody that if you want, then I will get some place here. And then she opened her laptop. She was checking the database. She was checking who was sleeping where, who was not coming, who canceled their bookings. And unfortunately that day, not unfortunately, fortunately actually, there were no cancellations, nothing doing. Everybody who registered, everybody came for the program. And then she was like, oh, we don't have a place. <laughs> and then she said, wait, there's there's no place from the front door but from the back door there is always some place so then what she did was uh, she went to another place in the top floor of that building where uh, they there was a roof you know and there was some place there but it was not a place where somebody could sleep but that was the only tiny bit remaining there and there was no heater so sleeping in Europe without heater, as you see the heater is down here, this is the heater, you know, this one. So sleeping in Europe without heater is like you are dead in the night. But then she said, this is the only place that you can get, otherwise you sleep outside. <laughs> Which essentially means that you are dead. 
so then i uh, went there and i slept there and somehow she gave me some blankets and some pillows and some other stuff you know some mattress and i was lying down and it was chilling cold and i didn't get uh, much sleep also those 3 days but it was very nice she helped so much and then when the uh, satsang program the lectures would be over and the people would come out to just uh, mingle with each other you know social gathering then she would always introduce me as a youtuber or as an astrologer to the other uh, people who came in the satsang she would say oh do you know this person he is in youtube you know he is an astrologer so and so blah 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 you know he makes nice videos he does consultations readings and so and so and then uh, the, those people would ask me oh you are from india india is uh, such a holy country blah 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 india 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 and i was like <laughs> so wherever i used to go she used to always uh, raise the bar of expectations of people mm, from my side so i would i would have lot of difficulty in <laughs> catering to their expectations because she would uh, speak very high of me and uh, then at the end uh, she would always say that you know you can sit with him you can discuss with him and i had the most amazing Three days, I would say, you know, in Italy, and it was amazing, mind-blowing, wonderful, stupendous. And uh, there were some people in the ashram there who were ha- ha- having some challenges, some health problems, or some financial issues. So she told me that uh, you can please check their horoscopes, and then I just checked their horoscopes, and I tried my best to help them with. by saying are certain things of the future or the past or by giving some remedies and there were many people who uh, came there and they were like oh you know what is astrology we don't know what is astrology we just know what are mantras then there were many people who i explained you know what astrology is and how you can use it as a tool for self correction rather than you know just going on predicting things so it was a very great time uh, this lady was very kind she was very kind hearted and and uh, what else i mean just because of her i could attend the programs otherwise i don't know if <laughs> if uh, she would have not given me that place i would not be able to stay there and she is an extraordinary lady because month yearly 6 months she stays in vrindavan so for the western audience who don't know what is vrindavan vrindavan is the birth you know it's the birth place of lord krishna of course and uh, of course krishna was born in mathura but he didn't stay there as when he was very young you know he was taken to gokul then vrindavan so that it's it's like the same place you know gokul vrindavan mathura so lord krishna's uh, childhood past times are most prominently in vrindavan and in gokul nandagaon and all these places so he st- she stays six months there in vrindavan okay so it is it's very great to know that somebody is uh, from a place like italy and she still stays 6 months in a place like vrindavan and just 6 months doing nothing just uh spiritual activities chanting uh, krishna's names you know chanting different mantras and she also visits ayodhya she also visits banara sometimes she also visits south india sometimes and she keeps going to different places in australia and new zealand and so many other places especially on that side she goes and gives seminars on spirituality on meditation yoga and so so much so much knowledge she has you know from the last 50 years in fact you know where she she was introduced to spiritual teachings when she was very 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 young and Uh, she also has a daughter the her daughter is around 25 years old i would say and uh, amazing it is very nice to meet her so i'll meet her again hopefully next year or maybe this time itself when i go to vrindavan somewhere around o- o- october or november maybe 
she also comes there but if not in vindavan then she will definitely be there next time uh, when i again go to italy that place and i will meet her again there and i hope and pray for her good wealth uh, well being sorry health and well being and uh, her overall welfare of her daughter and everybody who is connected to her and i also pray that she advances in her spiritual journey like rocket <laughs> not linearly you know exponential spiritual advancement and uh, there are lots of divine teachings which i received from her and just recently around last week i guess we had a talk for around 45 50 minutes and she was uh, sharing amazing things what keeps going on there in the ashram and mm-hmm. how they love to go to india and you know how according to them lucky indians are you know that they are admit so many spiritual places and so many sadhus and you know places like kumbh mela prayagraj and so many other places like vindavan all right so this is an amazing lady who i met in italy <laughs> All right so that's it from my side if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with others and if uh, you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life you could go down to my description section to my website here okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much